So th this is arguably the coolest clutch in the snake. like the way that fades in like that I was pretty happy about it myself I did a little video intro thing for my buddies that are creating their new channel reptile unplugged that's coming out soon I'll put a link in the description for it they do interviews Joel over at state 40 exotics and my buddy Adam Hobleeb over at uh, beach mum exotics you guys have probably seen their interviews before if not you should definitely check them out because they do some cool interviews and I think that interviewing people is a great idea so I know that intro was super quick and this because we got a lot of snakes to check out and I don't want to talk too much but I'm gonna talk a little bit I didn't top of the morning you guys you guys okay with that I always tout that you're supposed to be consistent on YouTube like consistency consistency and I'm probably one of the least consistent people out there as far as like I don't always do the same thing in my videos sometimes we're doing clutch videos sometimes we're walking out around checking out music sometimes we're doing who knows what just random random ass stuff but I think that's kind of the way a vlog channel goes is just documenting your life it's not always the same, but top of the morning was one of those things that is just like consistent. I do it a lot. Top of the morning, top of the morning, top of the morning, top of the morning, friends and family. Almost every time, but what if I stopped doing that too? Would you guys freak out? Leave a comment down below. I understand the importance of consistency is so that you can have something for your audience to come back to. And the only thing that's consistent in my videos is probably that I'm in them every time. That's, that's about it. So check out this clutch right here. This one is halfway done shedding out, so you can expect that one to be shown pretty soon. And I've got another one, check this out. Look at this gorgeous clutch. All clowns, crazy good odds on this clutch. And if you guys watch this channel, then you know that clown ball pythons are my favorite snakes in the world. And man, look at that. There's this one with this little Y on its head, like this distinct Y. That is gonna be a fun clutch to show you guys, so that'll be coming up soon too. And th this was from my girl that we had to cut the egg out of her, out of her overduct when she prolapsed it, so really happy to see that all these eggs made it. And by the way, mom is doing good too, and now that her eggs are hatched, I'm gonna give her a meal so that she can get back to normalcy and be her good old self. All right, per the standard, we're gonna go over the least amount of genetics to the most amount of genetics, and we got eight snakes to go through here, so I really like doing these videos because then you get to see every single thing that I hatch out throughout the entire season. And I think it's fun just to see the, the variety you get in the clutch. I could just show you guys the cool stuff, but I like to show you guys everything so you can, you can see what's going on. So the, the pairing here was a pastel Enchi Clown, Ricky, to Bubbles, our champagne female who we got from Ben Rennick. I'm pretty happy with it. All, obviously all the babies are Het Clown, which is gonna be a trend with most of the snakes we hatch out around here are likely going to be Het Clown. One thing I am gonna try and do very consistently in this video is show the same features on the, every snake. So, you know, a nice shot of the head, a nice shot of the whole back and dorsal, a nice shot of the belly, and any particularly distinguishing features that I notice on the snake, I will show you as well. So this first one here is a female, normal Het Clown. She's got some really nice eye stripes going on, and she's got that little bit of a head stamp, that little little marking on her head there. None of the other snakes have that. She's got this really long, stretched out alien head along the side of her neck right here. And some really intense flaming coming up the sides here as well. Right here in between these alien heads, you can see those big old flames coming through. Here's a nice top shot of the dorsal. There's a nice shot of the belly. She's being very cooperative. But again, the, the thing that really stands out to me on her is this long stretched alien head on the side of the neck here, right where my middle finger is. Definitely a gorgeous snake. A normal female head clown. Now this guy was throwing me for a little bit of a loop here. He's got that kind of butterfly-ish, enchy head stamp going on. His eye stripes aren't quite screaming ench to me, however, but he does have that little bit of a head stamp. And then you can see on the sides, he's kind of got this gravelly stuff coming up and this, this orange coming up the sides. Not quite the enchy banding, but kind of, kind of. So even though it's possible that he might be enchy and he's showing some of the signs, that he could be enchi. I just wasn't really comfortable 
listing him as an Enchi, so I'm just going to list him as a male normal. I guess Pos Enchi, but I'm not, not saying for sure he's Enchi. Uh, just going to sell him as a normal. And of course, Het Clown. So if you guys are interested in this guy and, and any of the snakes you see here today, make sure you get a hold of me. Emails right there, or you can Instagram message me or Facebook, and I'll get you on the list. And if there's one in particular that you see that you like, then you can uh, let me know, and uh, we'll we'll go from there. But you know, obviously, first I got to get these guys feeding consistently. But if you want to be on the list, then make sure you get a, get a hold of me because there's already a lot of people on it. <laughs> Which thank thank you guys by the way, I appreciate that. So here's kind of a nice shot of the belly. I have a classic looking belly. Some nice flaming going on right there, flaming yawn. So I think the the thing that distinguishes this guy for me is is that orange fle and black flecking that's coming up the sides that was making me want to say Enchi. And also this nice long piece here at the end of the tail on the side that goes all the way to the tail. And he's got another one on the other side that kind of looks like a, a charging buffalo with a huge head. So available as a normal het clown. So here we've got a female Enchi het clown. And you can see that X marks the spots butterfly thing on top. And her eye stripes more strongly suggest Enchi to me, so. But I will likely keep this girl just because I do like Enchi and Clown together and she could potentially help produce some really cool stuff down the line. A little belly shot. You got more of those light browns coming into the blacks down in the belly that really make me think about Enchi a lot more than that last guy does. And you got the, the banding across the top, pretty pretty consistent banding going down the last two thirds of the snake. She says Enchi to me quite a bit more than that last snake did, but man, that het clown influence is, is there. It's evident. So Enchi female het clown. So here's a pastel het clown female. And the distinguishing thing about her is she's got that really blushed out head. Almost wanted to say Enchi on this one too. I think this, this male, just for whatever reason, he throws out these Enchi characteristics even if he doesn't actually pass on the Enchi. I mean, the eye straps a little bit are telling me Enchi and, and there's even that kind of orange coming up the sides a little bit, but I just, I just, I, you know, I've got kind of same philosophy as Jesse is pro and probably lots of other people out there. You don't want to sell a snake as having genetics that it doesn't end up having. You'd rather sell it and if it does end up having those genetics then it's a bonus for the person that bought it rather than the other way around <laughs> so here's a nice shot of the belly pretty clean pretty clean belly again got those oranges coming up the side that were making me really happy and a lot of alien heads per capita on this side of this body look at the amount of alien heads it's just really busy in that regard Tons of alien heads all the way down the snake, which is something I noticed with with pastel This is a pretty nice distinguishing feature right there how this one alien head jumped up off the bottom and is connected to the top instead And just jumps it's like it's trying to jump away from the flames like this flame started coming up the side here And the alien is like no don't catch on fire. I gotta get out of here <laughs> Yeah, I'm a dork now here's a male pastel head clown and I want to show him next to that female pastel head clown that I just showed you just the difference there is quite quite a difference. He's just quite a bit more contrasty and his, his color is a lot more orange versus the yellow of her. I just thought that was pretty pretty interesting. His head is also quite quite blushed out. His eye stripes are very high contrast and the whole snake in general is just really high contrast. Very black and yellow. It kinda looks like a jungle carpet python as far as how black and yellow this is. You see the, the thick blacks around the alien heads here. Not nearly as much flaming, which is adding to that, that contrast of black and yellow. Just solid black and yellow. If you're a Steelers fan, man, this is the snake for you right here. Again, lots of alien heads per capita, per the pastel. And this weird thing happening over here. But yeah, just a, just a lot of yellow on this guy. The, the very deep, deep yellow, golden yellow color that pretty, 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 pastel male head clown. Now, for whatever reason, that male tends to throw some animals that really get paradoxing going on a bit. Like, even if it's just mild paradoxing, he really seems to throw out animals that have paradox. So I'm just, it's just curious to see that. The, so the last three animals in the clutch all had the champagne hit. So we got a pastel champagne, 
a pastel Enchi Champagne, and also an Enchi Champagne, maybe Enchi Champagne, the possible Enchi Champagne, but, and they're all males. I was really hoping for female. I've always th thinking about this thoughts of I really want a female, but I also want to see an, a visual Enchi Champagne clown pop out over here, which there's a guy at RP Reps. He's RP Reptiles, I think it's RP Reps. I'll, I'll put the name of the place right here and I'll put a picture here to show you some pastel Enchi Champagne clowns that he hatched out. These things just look phenomenal. If you want to work champagne into clown, I think it's a good move. And uh, I've been wanting to do it for a while, which is why I'm making hets. And yeah, so the, the benefit to getting a male is that I will actually be able to work this champagne with het clown into one of my visual females uh, sooner than later. So that'll, that'll be cool. You know, if I was stuck on keeping a female, I'd have to wait to grow her up, of course. But with a male, I'll be able to get it in there a little sooner. So. But here on the tail, here's that mild paradoxing I was talking about. Is that too bright? I don't know, my, my histogram is telling me that it's, that it's not too bright. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna trust the histogram. Even on the screen here, it looks like it's blowing out. We're just gonna put our faith in the histogram. The histogram tells the truth. All you photography geeks know exactly what I'm talking about. Here's the really cool distinguishing feature about this snake right here. We've got one, one black eye and one blue eye. I mean, sorry, snake, let me do that a little bit better. But look, got this one really blue eye and this eye is just black. So that's pretty sweet. And this guy is actually gonna be available, so. You see that, those faint yellows? And champagne is such a variable trait. Like you can have animals that have like no pattern and just that golden orange color or animals that have tons of pattern, which is why on this next snake, on the last snake I'll show you, you're gonna see why I'm having trouble telling if it's Enchi or not. So here we got Pastel Enchi Champagne, Het Clown Male. And I'm probably gonna keep this guy. I was debating whether or not to keep the Enchi the one that's Paw Senshi or this one, and I just, I, I'm still on the fence a little bit, but look at that cool yellow pattern coming through on that, that guy, oh my gosh, look at that. Let's get that cool thing happening down on the tail there. I'll show you the belly, the belly is just, I mean, clear white. Clear as day. And you got that little, little bit of dirty head. And then of course that freaking sweet pattern coming through. I really like champagne, man. It's there's a lot of potential, especially with clown mixed in. It's just really cool. Look at it. Look at it. It's so pretty. Okay, okay. One, one more snake. This is arguably the coolest snake in the clutch. So here, let's let's. Ooh, hey, what's up, bud? Look at that nice white, light pink tongue. Super cool. Right on his face, right away, you can see that, that little bit of paradox action I was talking about. And he's like trying to have either an enchi or kind of normal head right on the front of his face. And yet the champagne comes and take over, takes over the back of the head. So that's pretty interesting right there. Again, another little spot of paradox trying to come through right there. All throughout the snake, you can kind of see this like, this action of him wanting to have this paradoxing stuff coming through and it really does come through in a couple spots. It really comes through right here. It's that crazy, almost, I don't know what kind of alien head, it's very stretched out, but that's that little bit of paradox. And then there on the tail, got that action coming through. So very different looking snake, very different than anything we've ever hatched out over here. Really freaking stoked on this guy, man. The tough thing about hashing snakes, man, is you just want to keep them all. You just want to keep them all. I'm thankful that I, I've got Lots of people interested in these animals, so I don't have to keep them all because eventually I'd need a much bigger room. But I'm, I'm happy to see these guys end up in good homes out there. I'm really happy for all you guys that have gotten a hold of me and all, all the good homes that my snakes have gone to so far this year already. So thank you guys for that. I appreciate it. And uh, let me get a group shot of the whole clutch. There it is, man. <laughs> I dreamed doing stuff like this when I was a kid, dude. I just thought, I remember when I was a kid looking through books, I just thought it was like scientists hatch snakes and keep snakes in captivity that they breed and reproduce and hatch out of eggs and and uh no no i i can do it too you don't have to be a scientist a little bit of research and a lot of love and man what a freaking cool feeling man what a cool feeling all right guys y'all take care of yourselves and you can expect a couple more clutch videos coming this week later